Hey there, Eden here, and today I want to talk to you about the difference and similarities between Langchain and Llama Index. And I'll start by saying that both frameworks are very similar, and if you want to develop an LLM application, you can do it with Langchain, and you can probably do it with Llama Index as well. Both of these frameworks offer us utilities and tools in order to build our LLM application. Langchain is more popular. It has more adoptions among developers. In Llama Index, there is adoption as well, but not as much as Langchain. I would say that Llama Index is more focused on data, retrieval augmentation, integrating external data into LLM applications, and it's more data oriented, while Langchain does offer all of those features I just mentioned. And the support for retrieval augmentation in Langchain has gotten a lot better where they introduced the abstraction of Langchain expression language, which offers a lot of flexibility when building retrieval augmentation systems. In my opinion, LLM applications are usually divided into retrieval augmentation generation applications where you chat with your data, connect to some external data, and Igentic applications, where those are applications where we leverage the reasoning power of an LLM to choose a correct set of tools to use and to invoke them, and by that run non-deterministic actions. And while Llama Index does have support for agents, it has an implementation, for example, for the React algorithm, most of their agent offering is revolving around retrieval and search. And in my opinion, the Langchain offering regarding agent is much more robust and much more comprehensive. So in Langchain, they made a lot of changes in their framework where we have now with the Langchain expression language, a lot of flexibility of how to run our agents and how to determine which tools to select. And I do see in Langchain a lot more research and a lot more activity in that area. It seems that they are much more up to date with current research when it comes to developing LLM agents. To summarize this video, both frameworks are very similar. However, in my opinion, I would go with Langchain when it comes to develop an LLM application. Even if my application is very focused on data and it has a lot of retrieval augmentation, and a lot of usage of external data sources, I would still go with Langchain because I would still go with Langchain because it will answer those needs as well. If I were to go to build an agentic application, of course I would go to Langchain because it has a much more robust ecosystem for building generative AI agents.